What's up everybody, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I'd like to start this video by thanking each of you for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd be so honored if you would consider. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to know when the latest content is available, don't forget to click the notifications to on. Today we're back in the kitchen. I know it doesn't look like that because I'm in this weird position, but all for good reason. We are here with Samsung's latest smart dishwasher. This is the Smart 42 dBA dishwasher with Storm Wash Plus. Now this is in black stainless. You can get this in best spoke white and standard stainless steel. Now this is a smart dishwasher. It's feature packed. So what we're gonna do today is go over all of those features. I will give you my honest opinion and hopefully by the end of this video, you can make an educated choice if this is worth your hard earned money. I can't wait to get started, let's do this. This model does have three racks. We are looking at the top third rack Really, for me, we use this, it's not for everybody. It's easily removed if you want the extra top space. However, it's great for anything that's really sharp and you want it away from the kids, so I put my knives here. And then, of course, it's great for your forks and spoons and then spatulas, anything that's longer or flat that you wanna just kinda get in there, maybe you overstuff the bottom. Next, we have what we've already looked at, of course. We have our second tier. Again, I like that this can be adjusted up and down. Samsung gives us the adjustments for the different size glasses. It's just a great functioning top tier. I really can't stress enough. If you want this to really clean your dishes, and I'm talking about this second rack, you have to make sure that that arm is spinning and that means on the bottom, not putting something that's gonna be so tall that it blocks it from spinning, making sure that this is pushed all the way back and flush so it's getting full pressure, and that you utilize your space properly. And we also have these side spaces here. These are great for knives also, but really making sure that everything has the ability for the jets to be able to spray water is key to getting performance. The bottom and main rack is nice and spacious. If you have different sized dishes, these can easily lay down or be popped up. Samsung also did something that I really appreciate. They made their basket all into one. Usually they split it up. They put a nice big handle in the middle. That way you can take all of your forks, spoons, knives, etc., put them all away and then simply put the basket back in. It also feels like it's very good quality, heavy duty. I just really like this little touch. Also, the bottom basket is easily removed. As you can see, it's not attached to anything, but it does have wheels to give it a nice and smooth glide, if you would. I really enjoy what they did with the dispenser. So here we have where you're gonna put your detergent. As you can see, let's get the sticker off, sorry. So the detergent would go in, you would just push, and if you see it has sort of a swing door to it. It doesn't slide up and down like they normally do. And if you know, I used to have that problem all the time, you'd push it down and it wouldn't lock. Since this sort of swings, you kind of push and it clicks to close, and then when you wanna open it, you just push this little tab here and it opens. You also have the same thing for your rinse aid or spot preventer, if you would. This here we just pop open. I appreciate that it takes a good amount and seems to last quite a while, so you're not constantly filling it up. Here you have that little indicator so you can see if you need some or not. But overall, I really like what they did with this mechanism. And then of course we have that beautiful stainless steel tub. We are now taking a close up look inside, starting with one of the essential features the smart dry with auto release door. You can see the mechanisms right in front. We are now looking straight down at Samsung's Storm Wash Plus. The new dual wash arms and rotating spray jet delivers more intense cleaning performance and cleans at every angle to cover 1.5 more space. As you can see, this is what does the magic. You also have back there some more jets. This storm wash system does an outstanding job getting all that 
hardened debris, or even doing a nice pre-wash. All right, so now we're looking at the backside of the dishwasher. As you can see, there is sort of a pipe with a hole. What we're gonna do is slide the top basket back. This arm connects to the basket itself, and this is where you get the water pressure for your top rotating jet. As you can see now, we have the top basket pushed all the way back. Make sure it's nice and flush and that there's no blockage, and you should get a well rotating and powerful top arm. As you can see, it simply starts at the bottom, goes all the way up to the top, and then there is our rotating jet. And again, this is gonna make a big difference for getting those top dishes clean. Quick look of the top jets. If you can see here, what's nice is that each one is angled differently so it can get through those dishes and get off all of that you know, hardened food. We are still looking at the top here. Another thing Samsung did is they gave us this nice and easy switch for different size glasses. So basically you have your coffee mugs or wine glasses if you would. You simply would just push this and it adjusts the size. I like that, nice and easy. Another thing that Samsung has done for a while now, but keeps it nice and easy. If you want to adjust the top basket up or down, you have these little levers on each side. It's as simple as lifting up and it drops down, lifting and holding, and then it locks back into place. As you can see the wheels here and this little, I don't know, plastic piece holds it in place. I like that they keep that here, but again, if you have tall dishes on the bottom and you need to go up, you simply go up. If you want to go down, you go down. Again, Samsung gives us the third drawer or third row, if you would, for your extra knives or any of your flatware dishes that you want to put up here. Let's take a look at the control panel. First, it has that protective plastic. You can remove that if you'd like. I apologize about that glare, but here we have Power, Auto, Normal, Heavy, Delicate, Express 60, Pre-Blast, Download Cycle, we'll look at that in a moment, Lower Rack, Storm Wash Plus, High Temp Wash. Then we have our Sanitize, and then of course if you hold down Sanitize, that would be your Child Lock. We have Smart Dry, High and Low, Smart Control, and then we have this nice screen here. Shows whether or not um, we're connected to Wi-Fi, the time remaining, or how long the cycle will take. Then we have our Delay Start, our Start, Cancel, and Drain, and then Samsung Smart Things branding here on the edge. Then on the front, one of the best features is that it lets you know how much time you have remaining and you can see that, you know, from anywhere in the kitchen. So now we're going to take a quick look at Samsung SmartThings ecosystem. This is Samsung's ecosystem to control your smart home. It connects with Samsung products, of course, and many other brands. In order to use the smart features of your dishwasher, you must sign up for an account and then of course sync it to the Samsung SmartThings account. Now you can see we have our home dishwasher. We're gonna go ahead and click here and it's going to show us a few of the features. Now the way to use this um, is on the dishwasher itself, you want to make sure that it is connected. So here you can see, can I start my dishwasher from this app? When we click here, it says Smart Control lets you control the dishwasher from Samsung SmartThings app. If you turn on Smart Control in advance on your dishwasher, then you can start it from the app. Now, of course, you wanna make sure your detergent is already in and that it is shut. Once that is done, you have full control. So, different features you can see that we have our cycles. We have Express, Pre-Blast, Pots, Pan, Self-Clean, Plastic, Baby Care, and Night. Of course, we have our Sanitize, Storm Wash Plus, High Temp Wash, Smart Dry, turn that low or high. You have Delay Start, we have our Rack Selection, Lower or All, Dispenser, you can see you can adjust the current um, tabs left, notify when to purchase, so that's more about, you know, ordering. 
useful features. We have our washing guide, my favorites, and downloadable cycles. Now this is something that even if you're not going to use these smart functions, you might want to download one of these cycles. Here you can see we have self-clean, plastic, pots, pans, baby care, and night. Um, of course, the self-cleaning function is one of the best things about this dishwasher. You don't have to buy those expensive tablets that clean it. Simply just use the self-clean. Um, other than that, you have your SmartThings Home Care and SmartThings Energy. SmartThings Home Care basically helps you manage your home appliances it checks the usage, history, filter status, etc. This will tell you if there's any problems or if it needs a self-clean as an example. It just helps you keep your um, appliances well maintained. And SmartThings Energy is pretty cool because it breaks down the cost per day, week, and month as far as all the things that you have connected through the SmartThings ecosystem and tells you how much energy you're consuming. Go ahead and set your cycle features, send a dishwasher, and you're ready to start. So now it's time to talk about how I feel about this dishwasher. When I think of a dishwasher, really the number one thing that should be important is performance. However, I truly believe that that is not always why we buy a dishwasher. Often I think people buy dishwashers for the way they look. So let's talk about what I think defines this dishwasher. Now, first of all, function. That would be considered performance. Samsung has did an outstanding job, and I can't stress that enough, outstanding job on building a feature-packed dishwasher that lives up to its performance. Whether you have you know, those hard dried on crusted food, or you have, you know, a big dinner with mashed potatoes and grease, this dishwasher delivers. Especially if you make sure that you use, you know, a good rinse agent, a good detergent, and you load the dishwasher correctly, meaning not overstuffing it, making sure that everything is put in properly so that the jets, jets excuse me, can function properly outstanding job next would be the look right build quality and look kind of go together now on the outside you can get the white bespoke you can get the black stainless standard standard stainless so again all the colors really i guess you would need but to me it's gorgeous and one thing i love about this is this little digital timer here. It is just such a useful feature, and I know some dishwashers have had that in the past, but I personally really think it's useful. Now, the beautiful stainless steel tub, um, the build quality of all the racks, really is just outstanding. So we have performance and beauty down. What about the features? Now here's where things get a little tricky. If you're someone like me that loves technology, we are normally willing to pay several hundred dollars more for smart technology. Appliances have had Wi-Fi in them for quite a while now. I can honestly say, often, it's not worth the extra money. However, flip-flop to today and Samsung has delivered on smart technology in a dishwasher. Let me explain. In order for smart technology to be useful, it has to be able to be used by almost everybody, meaning the learning curve should be small, if any. With Samsung SmartThings ecosystem, it's so polished and it works so well with your other Samsung Smart Appliances. Now, I always talk about ecosystem. If you're going to buy a smart appliance, Samsung is what you want and you want to continue. In other words, smart refrigerator, you could check out my videos obviously above above if you want to see more about some of these other things but refrigerator washer dryer stove you can buy all of these from samsung beautiful presentation um, gorgeous products but also good well-built functioning products and they all work together in one ecosystem it's not just about the fact that you can start and stop your dishwasher with your phone okay many dishwashers can do that now but you can also reorder supplies. You can also make sure that it's functioning properly. You can also, you know, set your delay start. You can use your voice if you want to with your voice assistance. 
pretty much everything that you would need or want to be able to do, you can do it with this dishwasher. The cool thing is, is I truly believe that just about anyone could do it. It's easy to use. So Samsung truly delivered. Next, the functionality of the dishwasher itself. Obviously, um, the touch, push, capacitive touch buttons, whatever you want to call them, easy to use, pretty straightforward. They tell you what feature, auto, blah, 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 start, we're good. But little things like the uh, spot dispenser, it's easy to open. It's got this nice big opening so it's not pouring out. I know most of you will know what I'm talking about. Most dishwashers have a very small circle that you put your jet dry in and it normally just kind of drips all over the side and then when you overfill it, it runs over. That's not gonna happen with this. Samsung gives you a big area. It takes a lot of solution so it's gonna last. You don't have to do it a lot. And it's got this nice easy to seal latch. But the next thing even better is the soap dispenser. Now again, most soap dispensers simply slide shut. As you probably know, if you own a dishwasher, they never stay shut. They just kind of pop back at you. This is like this little ingenious idea to have it sort of raise up, shut, and click. And then when you want to open it, you just have to press this little tab and open it. That is something that you know obviously we wouldn't even think of often, but Samsung delivered on it. Next, the ability to put bigger cups versus smaller cups. Do you have to do some complex uh, matrix thing to do that? No, simple on and off switch if you would in the back. Open, close, open, close. You wanna raise the rack up or lower it down, two tabs up, two tabs down. Everything about this dishwasher delivers for me. So, listen. Most dishwashers performance, I would say, is 90% the dishwasher, 10% us. My family, as an example, will shove all the dishes in there, all crusted with food. The more dishes we get in there, the happier dad's gonna be because we did the dishes. They're not in the sink. The truth is, is it gonna wash any of those dishes? I don't know, maybe the bowl at the bottom, right? But none of them are getting washed. But if I told you <laughs> that if a normal dishwasher washed a bowl and a cup out of that whole load, this is gonna wash 50% of it. You would be impressed to know that that's actually the truth because Samsung sort of gave us this matrix of water that goes in each and every direction to get in those nooks and crannies of dishes. So if you have that family, this might be the dishwasher for you. Obviously, if we put good detergent in there, if we use jet dry, do we have hard water? These are all things that will affect performance. But if you keep up on that, this will perform like it should, right? Beautiful, it's functional, and I highly recommend trying it out. Will it break? This is a question people will say, hey, it'll break or will it break? That's a question that we can't answer, right? Should it break? No. Can it break? Yes. Why? Anything on planet Earth can be defective. But if you think for one minute that Samsung doesn't make amazing quality products, it does. Things have changed since, you know, eight, nine years ago. Samsung has set a new bar on giving us technology in appliances and giving us that quality all in one, making it fun in the kitchen, especially for tech addicts like myself. So, do I recommend it? Yes, and sadly for me, something tells me dad might be doing the dishes a lot more. That pretty much wraps up my review on the all new Smart Dishwasher by Samsung. If I missed anything, please reach me in the comments section. I will help you the best that I can. As always, I'd like to slow things down for a moment and remind you, Life is so short. Don't forget to love your family. Love your neighbors. Go out today and do a small act of kindness for someone. It is amazing how the smallest act of kindness can make such a difference. The world is a mess right now, a complete mess. The only people that can change it is you and I. Remember, I do YouTube for you and you only, so if you need me, you can come follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at JB Tech Fanatic. Of course, the best place to reach me is in the comment section, but I will do the best that I can to help you. 
I want to invite you to subscribe one last time. Thank you for joining me. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. I can't wait to talk to you in the comments and see you in that next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic and I'm out. Peace.